Hello everyone, it's me, Jimmy Chan. Welcome to a video on Sons of the Forest. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to get a flashlight. The shot, no not the shotgun, my bad, not the shotgun. The flashlight. The pistol. And maybe, maybe the rebreather. All in, oh no, no, the flashlight, the modern hats, and the pistol. All in one run. Okay, how did that sound? But all three of them are very easy to get and do not involve going in cave. So, if you want to watch, stick around. I don't know where they are. Probably know where at least the flashlight and the star, but for those of you who don't, that's great. Now, this doesn't involve any cannibals, so I'm going to be doing this on peaceful just so I don't get any run ins with cannibals. Slows me down. Oh, and um, I will be making a playthrough on the game. I've played through some of the game. I haven't played through all of it. I've played 20 days of the game in game time, not real time. The game hasn't even been out for a week. Or it's been out for about a week. Um, but yeah, so I'm just gonna skip this. Okay, we are getting the beach landing, I think. Yeah, the beach landing, okay. Got it. Okay. <laughs> we landed at the beach. That's... Actually, that's not bad. That's not bad. Could be worse. Could be a worse landing. No, actually, the beach is probably the worst, actually, to be honest. Well, for this run, the beach is the worst. The beach isn't bad in most situations. So, of course, you're going to just go over here and grab everything inside of these suitcases first. They're always the first thing you should always do in every playthrough. Grab the suitcases. Unless, of course, you're doing a cabin run, which... You don't need Kelvin for this, but I'll get him anyway. Kelvin. You don't really need him, so I probably won't be paying any attention, but... I don't follow me. I think I got them all. So, what we are going to do is, of course, open up our pack that has our axe, GPS, lighter, and book in it. Oh, I did not mean to do that. If I have to cut that out so I don't see my friends. I did not mean to open that up. Whoops. Go down a bit. That's Ooh. fine. So, just in case you're wondering, this cave that's showing up on the map, that's where the rebreather is. There is a bunch of monsters in there, so I recommend that at least having a spear. Though, I recommend more than a spear, to be honest. Um, yeah, you're definitely going to want more than a spear for that cave. Not, not Terribly hard, but probably one of the easier caves in the game. So, for the flashlight, we're going to do it flashlight, then the modern axe, then the pistol. <clears throat> so, the flashlight will be the first thing we get. Now, feel free to skip this video if you are, if you already know where everything is, but if you don't want to, then that's fine. I don't care that bad. Now, this axe here is, if you played the first game, it's basically just the playing axe. So, it looks like it's a lot better than the playing axe, because, well, 
Green Knight looks kind of dull, to be honest. It looks very sharp. No, I am going to make... Oh, wait, never mind. I forgot. I'm on peaceful. I don't need a spear. I was going to make a spear, but... I'm playing on peaceful. Just for this run. I can show you without being interrupted by cannibals where you should go. So, up here, we're just going to this purple... Going to the purple marker up here. This will be the first spot where the flashlight is. Now, the flashlight is a lot better than the lighter. Because the lighter in this game is kind of garbage for lighting up stuff, because it's, you know... It's purple. As you can see right there, it's purple. In the first game, the flashlight was garbage. This one, the lighter is. Now, the lighter is decent. The only reason the lighter would be better is it doesn't flicker in this game, which is nice. In the first game, it had this habit of flickering. Now, that was kind of annoying. But, the good thing is, it doesn't do that anymore in this game. Though, the flashlight does have a limited battery away. Almost there. You can see on the map. Oh, uh, here I think is one of the maintenance bunkers. I can't remember which one this is though. It might be the one with the axe. I might be wrong. Maybe it's a maybe it might it's either the bow or the axe. Yeah, it's like right over here. And you need the shovel for it. And let me tell you, the shovel is a pain to get. So yeah, right here you would just dig it out right there. You gotta you gotta go into three different caves for the shovel. You gotta go into a cave for the rebreather, which is by that helicopter crash. You gotta go into the cave for the rope gun, which is a little bit ahead. Not the one that's on there right now. And then you gotta go into the cave with the actual shovel itself. Which you need the rope gun and the rebreather to get. And that one is actually the cave that's right over there on the map, on the GPS. You can see it. Um, yeah. It's that. So we're almost there. We're getting close. As you can see, it's that purple point on the marker, on the GPS even. Whenever we get to there, I'll show you what to do from there. Now I'm going to try to not cut this out because I know some people don't like it very much whenever there's stuff cut out. Now that over there, that will be important a bit. but. Not just right now. Now, Kelvin, he will probably make his way over here. His AI is smart enough to do that. Now, this is definitely going to be a more age-restricted video because of the game it is. Um, I'll put a disclaimer at the beginning, especially for this part. As you can see, there's a man hanging there. You can probably tell why there's a disclaimer. That there is the man with the flashlight. I'll put a disclaimer if I don't forget. I'll at least put one in the description. away so it doesn't keep beeping okay so we got some rope here we got some 16 act bars and hello i'm back i got a call sorry for the random cut um 
So where we were, whenever I left off, was basically I was right here, and I grabbed the vodka or the booze rope and then the bars. So right here, see this? Whack that. It falls down. Now if you're in survival, or like, if you're in not in peaceful mode, you probably don't want to do this, but I'm just going to do this. Yeah, he is, uh, he is dead. There's some booze, there's the GPS locator, and of course, most importantly, the flashlight. So there's your, there's your flashlight right there. I should turn off my Discord things. Also, I may have to go soon. I may have to, not go, per se, but I may have to do another cut soon because, well... I might get another call soon because of, um, stuff happening. So here's the modern axe. Right here at this little camp thing. Now this is probably one of the better weapons in the game. Maybe not the best, but one of the better for sure. Uh, so then of course you want to grab everything you can. You can also, of course, bring these laptops, grab the circuit boards, break the radio, too. Break all that. Grab the booze, the grenades and the C4 brick. Have all this stuff. And there we go. That's everything there. And now, last but not, but certainly not least, the pistol. It is at this other. Oh, this is a really good base spot, by the way, right here. As you can tell, it's like open. I'll probably do a tutorial on a nice house to build. Probably be right here in this spot. Probably on the save, to be honest. Maybe. Maybe not. I don't know. But, uh, yeah. It's going to go over here. Um, yeah, if I get a call, I will have to cut it out again. But, yeah. Hopefully, I do not get a call. Actually, yeah, I probably won't do it on the save. I might. I have the time to set up a save. Wait, and I will. But I do not. And I will not. Let's make a new save. Probably grab the modern axe, because it's like right next to there. Hopefully I get the mountain spawn. I'll definitely use Kelvin. Roller logs. We're getting close. You can grab all this if you want, but it's time on like a bit of a time crunch, then I won't. We got some stuff I try to do after this, so Yeah, alright, so I will not be grabbing. All this stuff in there. I probably shouldn't have done that in the first place at all. But, yeah. <laughs> Pretty simple run. It's easiest is we get the mountain landing because you're like right behind her, the guy that's dead with the flash riders. And you can just basically spell up there from spawn. We're not spun. You can basically just walk up to there from spawn, cut them down, grab it, grab the flash right, go down, grab the modern axe, then come down over here and grab the pistol. You see that orange thing right there? It looks like a tent in the water. That's where the pistol is. You swim up there, climb on top, find the dead guy, a dead guy, and the uh, pistol, some other stuff, and uh, yeah, you got yourself a pistol. 
Now, there is another pistol location in the game, but that's a much more difficult area to go to. Cause, you know, you need the key card for that. So, I wouldn't recommend that one as your first pistol. Because the pistol also is just the worst of three guns. The best being the shotgun. Though my favorite is the revolver. Because I love revolvers. Now, right here, this is a... Uh, this has some ammo and a pistol rail. Pistol rail allows you to put attachments on it. And the ammo, you can just use that to keep infinitely getting pistol ammo. Like, you just grab it, save, reload. Grab it, save, reload. Keep doing that. And if you reload, dang, I did not mean to do that. Fine. And if you reload, you will get the pistol ammo to respawn. So, you just swim out here. It's not too, too far out. Now I'm pretty sure on if you're not on peaceful, there's sharks out here. I'm not sure if there's sharks out here on peaceful. I'm not sure. I haven't played this game much on peaceful. This is actually my first time playing on peaceful. And yeah, I'm going to swim up here. It can make you jump sometimes. They like jump out of the water. Unlike the first game. In the first game, they didn't do much. Other than... Okay, they are here in peaceful mode. Okay, that's good to know. But yeah, here is. D. Yeah, there, there, there's one. But yeah, here's the other guy. Another GPS locator. The most important really, the pistol. Like right there, you see those sharks? You can kill them with this thing. See? I just murdered a shark with a pistol. Never thought I would do that in my life. But I just did. Wow. Oh, a seagull. Can I kill the seagull? Missed. Missed again. Missed again. Missed. Man, my aim is god awful. Thank finally. Thank god. I'm gonna keep going until I ramma. Yeah, there we go. Last shot. Well, um. That's my tutorial on how you get the modern axe, the flashlight, oops, I fell off, the flashlight and the pistol, in one run, at the very start of the game. And, yeah, that's, uh, that's about it. See ya.